we have Tail versus Gossamer, as we said before. Now, yeah. let's see who he goes. Yeah. Should be interesting. Okay, he's snake. opting for the snake, so we gotta oh, change so that. Oh, so I have yet to see this, the tail snake. I'm really excited. No, his snake is really good. He actually took a game off of me with his uh, with, with his snake. Because uh, he Nikita's very, very well. Yeah, as you know, that Nikita is so scary. That's one of the most reliable ways to edge guard Peach, I think, in this whole game. All right, Here starting off, immediately pull the tournament, uh, the turn up. Every game I play Gossamer in, he's always pulled a Mr. Saturn. That has been so that's been so ridiculously consistent. It's honestly kind of scary. Okay, so we have uh, Gossamer starting out with a pretty early lead right now. Starting trying to get those down air down air confirms very very good. Yeah, just doing what Gossamer does, right? So we did see earlier Royal from UCLA, who I consider to be a very aerial focused peach. Gossamer, in contrast, I think is a lot more grounded. I agree. Just looking he, for those grounded openings to get those nasty combos. You can tell he's a Smash Forge veteran because he shields a lot. He relies on shielding and shield grabbing. It very, works very though. Much. You get away it, with it. It does with peach. work. Especially with all the conditioning, you force your opponent into shielding themselves, so you can be able to get grabs much, much better. Absolutely. And we did see in Royal versus Oriole 6, right, Peach versus Rob, we talked about on commentary how those are two very item-focused characters, which is fun Ooh. to watch because they both know how to use each other's items, and we're going to be seeing that very much in this matchup. Snake being very chunky, surviving that beefy forward air. Yeah. Sna Snake can be a, such a frustrating character to run into, just... Not even just because of what he does, he, just, he sometimes refuses to die. You can tell that Tail is very hungry for the up tilt, even going for it at yeah. 76. I think now he might take it, though, if he lands it. You're right. Look at all this Max rage he's got. Well, Max Rage Snake, Peach at 89, floating character. Mm. Back air is an interesting it. option there, but not going to connect. Gossamer, not as far ahead as you might be led to believe at the moment. Ooh. One of them was going to back her there. <laughs> oh, That is oh. unfortunate. Unfortunate SD. Wow. Yeah. Very sad. That's so huge for Tail right there. He really needs to make something oh, happen, but I don't know. Fourth throw kill? No, not on the chonky guy Snake. You're right. Oh, that almost connected. Wow. Uh, the <laughs> Nair course. not beating out the back air there. Not exactly what Tail oh, wanted. But immediately getting, getting an approach with the... 43 with two moves. With the C4. Was that C4 or a grenade? I, I couldn't tell. It was something, man. <laughs> it exploded. That's all I care about. Ooh. Nice edge guarding. Yeah, Ooh, fantastic so positioning from Gossamer. Knowing how to edge guard snake so well. Oh, oh that's a the nasty oh, option man, there. No, that's so, so creative. Yeah, I mean, so many snakes will just like hang out at the top of the stage because they think it's such a free place to be. But certain characters, man, like Peach, you're not careful, that's going to happen. Oh no, where are oh, you going? the fast falling. He fell so fast. Nice down tilt. That yeah. was very, very good, solid, disjointed uh, poking I, I do like the sledge play coming out from Tail, but Gossamer managing to get around it. Oh, that was insane <laughs> movement. So much spaghetti going on right here. Whoa! Oh, no! oh he's, he's fine. fine. He's, he's fine. fine. Yeah. He's yeah. If that was Yoshi, it's <laughs> over, dude. dude. Whenever Yoshi gets footstool, he's just a little rock. Yeah. Okay, the cipher hitting Gossamer there, but going to ledge. That's a really smart move. And now, See, oh, uh, nice he tried to shield up. grab and lost his life in exchange. Oh. Don't shield grab in this game, guys. It's not worth it. <laughs> Oh, nice catch. Oh, oh wow. That's that could, crazy. That could have been something very saucy. Be okay. See, he's going to go high. Yeah. No. Oh, oh no, that's so smart. That was so oh, good. Yeah, Gosper can hit him. He's fine. Even though he's regrabbing. Yeah, like Gosper is so far away. He gets such high percent here. Oh, oh the forward, forward air is so meaty. <laughs> he jab one. He, he, he's he trying to do some crazy things right there. He probably wanted to grab or something. To follow it up with something afterwards. Wow, what a great, what evasion from Gossamer. Nice. Wow, okay. that, it always uh, phases me how uh, Peaches could immediately mm. do the uh, float cancel uh, reactions like yeah. that. It's so insane. It's incredible. I got the feeling Tail wanted to try a fast air dodge right there, but it just didn't come out in time, and that up air took his life. 
really, really solid performance from Tail in that game one, though. Gossamer yeah. took it, but man. Yeah, as uh, Tail uh, was someone who didn't try out last year because he wasn't confident he would make the team, but he ended up making PR last season. Yeah. So he's a very like, solid player. Definitely seems like he earned that number 10 spot, and that. You know, guys, number 10, that might not sound like much, but at USC, like, there's a we lot become of so much more stacked. There's a lot of players Number 10 at USC. is seriously impressive at a place like this. All right, starting out with immediately beam reversing ceiling. So just playing out neutral right here. Well, Gossamer loves getting those confirms with off of down air into yeah. Florida. Oh, that's quite a minefield right there, but Gossamer getting out of it, but taking quite a bit of damage. I do find it interesting we went back to Stadium 2 here. I feel like that Ooh, might not have C4 been the best setup. pick. That, was, for... that would have been so smart if it hit. Yeah, that was looking really close, but not getting it. Tail's got to watch himself again because last time he got killed off the top. Oh. So he has to be, cover, be careful when recovering and landing. Not to go too high. Yeah, honestly, I think if anything is costing tail right now it's just he's letting himself get into too many scrambles and taking just a few too many trades and just random stray hits because i feel like he spends half the match at like over 120 percent yeah you're right he gets it he gets most of his momentum from last uh, from uh, end of stock scenarios yeah. and that's kind of in the nature of snake in a way but at the same time you know Ooh. that's gonna be scary right like tail just has to be so cautious against a guy like gossamer who can just like do this oh no oh, all the damage seven. dude there's so much damage in a single cover that was 76. a great forward air no. wow was that a zero to death gossamer <laughs> calm down bro he has a family <laughs> <laughs> no, whoa, whoa. Oh, oh, whoa. okay tail's got some spunk i like it Wow. wow, nice got, 32. I love seeing those C4 setups. Snake yeah. is a cool character, bro. You, you think, like, why does he back, back throw there? And then, bam. Oh, Gossamer interesting. Being, not letting him do anything right now. But. I feel like something happened with Gossamer. He's, like, playing this in a kind of strange manner where he's just, like, staying so close to Snake. Which, I mean, I get it, right? Peach needs to be close to do damage. But yeah. The turnips at least can pull close the distance. I think Gossamer needs to take a step back before the stocks even up here. Well, you see, Gossamer is very good at ledge trapping, but he, it is Snake, so we'll see what happens. Oh, amazing grab! Mm, the Nair not connecting. But, yeah, he was a little too oh, high. Oh, the landing up oh, there. Oh, the up tilt. <laughs> oh, ah. you need to be teching those. That was a good set. Yeah. That was a very good set. Honestly, that game two was more competitive than it looked, right? Because Gossamer just had that absolutely disgusting stock, which put him so far ahead. So, excellent stuff from Gossamer. Really great performance by Tail as well. I, I really want to see more of him, more of his parry and his snake. I agree. Really fun player to watch.